Good evening, Interweb. Tonight we're going to be playing Besieged, Isle of Ypsilon, All Level Challenge. It's not actually a game mode, but it's just a challenge that's going around on the Interweb, where you build one machine capable of beating every level of the game on the Isle of Ypsilon, which is the only island available at the moment. Um, I've got several machines that can do it. The personal challenge, I added a limit of 100 pieces to the machine. We're going to see if it can be done. Oh, who are we kidding? We know it can be done. I wouldn't be posting this if I hadn't already tested it. So, yes, it can be done. Um, it could be done easier if I could hit the broad side of a barn, but my aim really, honestly, sucks. Um... You'll see that as we move on. As an additional challenge to myself, I uh, I stated stated that the machine has to be intact at the end of the level. That is, it has to be basically in one piece and drivable. Because let's really face it: if you're building a, a siege engine of destruction and uh, it just it falls apart and breaks then nobody's gonna want that nobody's gonna buy that from you uh, or or want to use that design so you know I mean you, that's not really a big selling point if you've got your siege engine and you're trying to uh, to convince people to use it and you say oh well, by the way it, it will explode uh, or catch fire or fall apart um, upon uh, completion of the mission by the time you get the uh, everything done then no that's that's not really a viable design nobody wants that I wouldn't want that I don't know about you maybe that's what you want maybe you want a disposable siege engine and in which case this challenge would probably be a lot easier if that's what you want but if you're looking for uh, your own personal challenge uh, well actually I'd like to see what your own personal challenge is uh, if you have personal challenge that you've set out for yourself as far as this game you know, uh, um, maybe Complete all levels with a flying machine. Uh, complete all levels with a, a... I don't know. I was going to say without using explosives, but that's impossible. There's certain levels you just have to use the explosives. These guys just won't die. My saw bombs aren't doing their job. Normally, the saw bombs kind of bounce around inside the group of soldiers and kill them off. And make short work of them. This time, it's just not happening and I'm having to drive over these guys one at a time which is slow and tedious but it will happen they will die it will be crushed beneath my wheels and there we go so we're on to the next level uh, and you have probably if you've played this game at all have probably designed much better machines and I, actually, I would love to see them. Uh, I like looking at other people's designs, so um, you could post a, a picture or a link to a photograph or a video if you have your own video. Or if you want to upload your machine for other people to see and use, that's great too. Um, it's a it's a fun game if you don't have it. If you like uh, building machines, it's a little, it's kind of like playing with Legos, but I don't know if it, is, is that copyright. Can I say? Can I say Lego? I said Lego. Playing with plastic building blocks that lock together in various ways to form machines. Is that better? I don't know. Um, but uh, I, I don't know where I was going with that. I hate this level. See, I've already... The cannons just tear me to shreds here. Okay, so this clearly did not meet the challenge of survivability. 
I've already lost most of the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and start over. Stupid archers and cannons. Archers and cannons. Well, I've lost one wheel, but I think other than that, I'm still intact. I want the cannon. I want the cannon. There we go. Ha! Um, intact? Mostly. I lost a wheel. I'm going to call this a win. Um, and if you don't, then, uh, I mean, that's okay. Each his own. We all have our own opinions. I got it on the first shot. Oh, my God. Uh, that is not something that normally happens. That was amazing. I was actually expecting to have to resort to cannons. I'm on a roll here. I'm just taking them down left and right. It's great for me. Now this one, uh, I have a particular design flaw, maybe, uh, on on the catapult, and that is that the release mechanism, instead of being a bucket, is actually a grabber. You can see, right there. And the reason being is, well, it was to save a number of parts so that I can grab the wood for this level. Um, I think you have to have... I don't know. Has anyone beat this without using a grabber here? It might be possible. But it does mean that uh, it, it, the catapult mechanism is a little trickier because you have to manually release the uh, explosive at the right time. Um, you saw bombs... As I said, did I say? I don't know. Um, it's a decoupler with two saw blades attached. They will just bounce around, cutting everything. Uh, and then I either attach a flamethrower or a spike. that keeps them off-center and makes it so that they, uh, they tend to bounce around a bit more. I can also turn on the flames. There we go. And turn them back off. Um, I don't turn them on much because... Mostly, they just set myself on fire if I'm anywhere nearby. So I'd probably be better off just switching them all to spikes, but uh, I just like it. It looks kind of cool when you do get to do it. I, I'm going to... Oh, I still have... I didn't throw my explosive. Flaming sheep. Alright, where do I need to go? Oh, there's lots of sheep down there. Um... I'm going to go down. I could probably go to the top, but if this machine tips over, there's nothing I can do, and it is top-heavy, so I'm going to avoid going up the hill if I can. Uh, and this, this was talking about the saw bombs. You can see that they've just kind of wandered way away from anything that was useful, so they do just kind of bounce randomly. But if you have a close-knit group of people, or sheeple, um, they're great. They take out everything. Just drop it right in the middle of the group. Alright. That was not good aim. That was just me knowing that the cannons lined up great. That was, that was my usual aim there. Now, I'm going to go to the rear checkpoint first, because, uh, that way I don't have to try to come back down the hill. Or, I mean, I could just drive off the end, but then that sort of violates the uh, survivability requirement. And I, I blew up the statue because I don't like archers. I really hate archers. And they have their own little statue here. So I guess that was a, a spite move. Um, and in part just to get rid of the explosive so I'm not carrying it around with me. I'm going to drop off my saw bombs back here, just so they'll be out of the way. And then that leaves me driving around the front. And if you're wondering about the steering mechanism, this is a, a, a tank steering, which means the left and right wheels are independent. 
um, with one button, I one side goes forward or backward, I guess two buttons, and then the other wheels are mapped to a different set so that uh, I can drive the left or right independently. This gives pretty good steering control without actually using any sort of uh, hinge mechanism. Um, and having experimented with various hinge mechanisms, did that? I drove through it. Why did that not count? I almost screwed that up. Um, I've tried the hinge mechanisms for steering, and I, I don't like them. Maybe you like them. Maybe you prefer them. And just so it is possible to drive back down with this thing, it's just a lot easier to do it the other way. And, alright, I believe we're down to the last level now. And I don't think that's going to be enough. I don't think... I'm going to start over, simply because I think I have to destroy a lot more. 60% of everything, I know there are still soldiers and and little houses left, but I think without taking that main tower out... Oh my god. Okay. Without taking that main tower out... There we go. I really don't think that uh, there's much of a chance of completing... Completing the mission. But here we go. Alright. As you see, the saw bomb. I'm going to hit the flamer. That should take care of that. And I've independently, oh geez, independently mapped my cannon fire as well, so I can fire my cannons independent. Uh, everything, everything can be mapped independently. Uh, it's, it's key mapping. You can map every single component to a different key, as long as you have enough keys on your keyboard. Uh, the arm extender here, see it's all mapped to one button, extends all three of those components. But if I wanted to, I could map each one separately and I could extend it and say stages. But I think that would be very, very problematic. Um, and not really a good way to go about it. Simply just because of the, well, I can't imagine a point, hey, good job. A point where I'd want to just extend part of it, not all of it. I may speed this part of the video up because it's just me driving around crushing things. But we're almost complete. We're almost through this level. And there we go. I have Ypsilon uh, all level challenge with 100 blocks used. Uh, I'd like to see what you can do, if you can do better. Uh, if you'd like to see more, I do have a flying machine that can do the same thing. It's more than 100 blocks, but it can be done. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And... Uh, Good night, good luck, and pleasant dreams.